College Mingo High Game Fiscal Court to order uh, on this uh, 22nd day of March 2022 at 5 p.m. I want to ask uh, County Attorney Justin Cowan to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. If we can bow our heads. Uh, Lord, first and foremost, we thank you for all the blessings that you've given us, uh, whether they're all realized or not. But we thank you as we know you are there. We also ask that you be with all those that may be displaced uh, in Ukraine and, and those in the area dealing with, with that issue. Uh, we thank you for that your grace is, is, is uh, forever. Uh, your love is endless. Um, we also pray for all those that came out today and, and for the magistrates and the judge executive here and to help the county and all that they need. For it's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Gentlemen, you have before you the uh, uh, March 8, 2022 meeting. minutes. Do I have a motion for approval? Make a motion. Second. Motion for Sam Small, second for Joe Barnes. There's a motion to uh, approve the minutes of the at March the uh, 8th, 2022 minutes. Uh, so, uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Any discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. So. Motion by Larry Count to approve. Second. Second by Sam Smock. Is there any uh, questions or discussion? Discussion on the bills, claims, payments, and transfer. Is there any discussion? Being none. Just one question I got on this. Okay. I guess the um, the burial assistance. Where does that Where is that coming from now? I thought we got rid of that budget. Well, we don't have a budget item, but we're obligated to pay it, and uh, uh, we're only mostly now doing it when the coroner's office uh, arranges it. That's why the cost is so low. It comes out of reserves, I'm sure. So yeah. that's just coming out of reserve. That's what I because I knew we got rid of that budget. So I actually took it out of juvenile housing because we had oh. I saw that. That's why I was. Yeah. Okay. Is that the as far as last year, do we do much of that? We didn't this do any is, last year, okay. but I, this I mean, is the second ask, one this year. Yeah, you can ask okay. Elvis. I think it was two this year, and they both came to the tournament. Was well, that the help though? Family, I guess. The court. No. Okay. No. All right. I'm fine. Go ahead. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. The bills are paid. We have the clerk's uh, February 2022 uh, budget, I mean, uh, statement, financial report. Motion, to acknowledge. motion by Joe Barnes to acknowledge the receipt. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. So, uh, is there, uh, you have it, Miranda? Yes. Uh, is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Post like sign, that motion carries. We have the sheriff's. 2022 amended estimated budget. I'll make a motion to acknowledge. Motion by Joe Barnes to acknowledge. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Is there any questions about that? Or any discussion, I should say. Any discussion about that? And being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. We have a couple of uh, resolutions from a committee meeting earlier today. Uh, Joe and Larry is on that committee. Would uh, could I hear the pleasure of either of you? Well, I, I, what I would indicate probably Joe is um, Jody and I have been discussing a few things. Is that 26 and 27? Yes. Yeah. But, uh, the, so it is. Some folks that probably wait till after. Um, so they'll be here in just a second if we want to that for a second come okay. back to it. Yeah, we okay. okay let's put that down under the post session mm. uh, in that case uh, I need a motion to go into closed session 
under KRS 61 810 Chapter 1 Section B and G, uh, otherwise called the, the Jody Session. Uh, I want uh, Jody Ashby to come in first. And Jody Flamer, you'll be waiting up here to when she comes out, you come in. So move. Motion to declare the hand. Take your belt. Thank you. Are we going to the old courtroom? I'll make a motion to go back into the session. Second the motion. Second the layer count. Go back into uh, session. We're back in open session. I will say that uh, we did not uh, take any, uh, make any business while we was in there, didn't pass any motions. Uh, but we did discuss things that will, that the next two resolutions that are proposed came from. So Joe Larry. Uh, well, Judge, I think that, that as to, um, I kind of present these, I understand that the resolution, once we once I learned that we may need some motions here, we, we, we wrote this down as quick as we could uh, based on, on, on things that were needed, but we will have a future resolution that would be consistent with this. So each of these motions would be um, uh, conditioned on the judge signing the resolution and sending a letter uh, consistent with the motions that you probably make. Um, but it would be a motion to transfer uh, 489000 from the emergency reserves to fund the OCEDA revolving loan fund, uh, causing that to be up to, uh, causing that to be 800000 In addition, a restriction would be placed upon the uh, OCEDA revolving loan fund for said 800000 to be solely used for a non-disclosed prospective entity uh, business. The restriction to remain on said funds for 48 months uh, unless all or a portion of the funds are used for the project sooner than that time, or the entity decline, declines to use uh, those funds. Uh, should the funds be used for the project um, uh, or be financed in the reserved amount used, including the principal and interest uh, paid on that loan, shall first be returned to the emergency reserves account. Uh, any payment in relation to that uh, would, would, would first be applied to the emergency reserves and then back to the OCEDA result revolving loan fund. Uh, this motion would be the subject to the restriction uh, indicated in our next resolution. Okay, what resolution? Yes, and so is. the next resolution would be in 2022-27 uh, uh, and that would be motion to permit up to 800000 from the OCEDA revolving loan fund to a non-disclosed prospective business entity for the purchase of realty located in Ohio County, Kentucky. So we'd need a motion on the first one and second, and then a motion on the second. Okay, I'll make a motion. Motion on the first one. Uh, Joe Barnes makes a motion on resolution 2022-26. Second. Second by Sam Small. Uh, since it's a resolution, Miranda Rokov. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Camp? Yes. I'll make a motion on the second one. Oh, I'll second the motion. Have, have a motion by Joe Barnes, second by Jason Bullock, to pass resolution 2022-27. And if it's okay with you to add on that, to authorize the judge to sign all paperwork that's, in, that's involved in the resolution. Can you add that to the motion, Marie? We'll do. Okay, motion and second. Any discussion? Make no discussion, Pro call. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Camp? Yes. Uh, I have some personnel issues here too, several of them actually. Uh, Larry? I think I answered your question wrong, so here it comes up. We'll take care of it. Uh, we have a uh, change in a pay for for uh, Mary Wallace and emergency management from uh, clerk two to clerk three. A uh, rate of pay from thirteen forty-five to fourteen dollars per hour, effective three twenty twenty twenty-two. Uh, that doesn't require a second. It does require a roll call, Miranda. 
Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullocks? Is that the, real quick, is that what we fixed last meeting? No. 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 This is, she's moving up a level. Okay. Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Camp? Yes. Next is to hire, this is something you talked about, Nick Joe, hire at Animal Shelter, Erica Gillum, at a rate of 10 23 an hour, level one, part time, 15 hours, could be to 22 if the budget allowed from the other. She's got two 15 hour positions and uh, roll call. More few? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? What was the start date on that one? Uh, 320, I'm sorry. Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cam. Yes. Next, at the road department, uh, we're changing from a seasonal to grade two full time. This is road department, Drake Burton, the Tyler's truck driver, uh, to full time at fifteen eighty five per hour. Road call, Moran. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Okay, yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Next, hire from the, at the road department, new hire, even though he's worked for us before, Garland Renfro, uh, a truck driver, full time, has class A and everything else with it, it's 16.05 an hour. Effective 320 2022. Um, and so, uh, roll call. Can I ask a question, Joe? Yes, sir. What was the reason that he left the last time he worked in the road park? He was very much uh, wanting to go, he didn't want to stay seasonal. He kept insisting to get a full time job. We didn't have one, so he took a full time job because he was afraid when seasonal ran out, he would no longer have a job. But so he so took he, another job and, and he now the ability is his full time. Yeah. But his work ethic was okay? Yeah, he, he's, he's a real good uh, worker, can do a whole lot of different things. He can also do a lot of things in the shop as needed. Okay. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. And here is the last one. This is a new guy to the to county employment. But Nick is very impressed with him. Kenny Autry was. They both interviewed beauty and I saw him. Uh, it's a road department again. His name's Johnny Shields, his truck driver, full time, uh, rate of pay sixteen oh five. Do they have do they have their CDLs? But, yeah, both of them do. Okay. Uh, I believe let me see. No, they both have uh, grade uh, two B and class B C D L. Johnny Shields. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Pam? Yes. So that's three for the road part? Uh, two new ones and one status change. No, do we, what's, how many positions left? Oh, that's, there. We're, we're, we're filled full there. Okay. At this point, we're completely filled up. Summary, I thought we had still, we're still short. Do we still have seasons? Trust me, but well, that was one of the seasons we just hired. So, and I believe there's one more in place. Yeah, no yeah, we don't. We want to remember that uh, uh, Mr. Bailey's coming in back in the first of June. It's time to be up where you can come. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's one of our seasons. As a season. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, one other thing it brought to my attention by uh, two or three staff members. We now pay if somebody takes their own individual car, we pay 40 cents an hour. 40 cents a mile. 40 cents a mile for use of their car. That's a mile way far. 40 cents an hour would be better. That's my 40 cents a mile. The state level at this point is 44. But what we are, are suggesting is that we go to 44 now, and then each year when the state evaluates theirs, we'll look at theirs evaluate ours accordingly to theirs. Uh, they evaluate it quarterly. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think you're going to do it more than yearly. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the school board does it quarterly. Okay, yeah. maybe that is what this yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. We, we evaluate it quarterly. But I, I'll we get more than 40 cents an hour, though. That's like 80 cents from global. Motion by Joe Barnes, second by Larry Murphy. And I do understand with the price of gas, gas I can fully understand that. Is any further discussion? <coughs> Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Holds life's time. I will say that what we've done in recent times and will continue to do is insist that employees going to meeting or out of town to use uh, uh, county vehicles that we have rather than, uh, than to drive their own as much as possible. That don't save a lot, but it saves a little. So we'll try to insist on that as much as possible. Uh, we're ready for committee reports. Do we, I know our motions have reflected at least two committee reports today, but do we have any other more committee reports? We have one judge, and we're upgrading the uh, the uh, water line extension uh, water lines, and uh, I think Ann, have you? Uh, have those typed up or anything? Or I don't have them ready yet. I okay. will. But I want to move to accept. And anybody that, uh, or the general public needs a copy of whatever, they can pick it up. Okay. So I would so. And uh, if someone else that was in the committee needs a second. Second. Who was that? Me. Thank you. Uh, motion by Larry Cam. Uh, second by Sam Small to uh, uh, amend the uh, water line. Priority list has submitted. Any, any discussion? Any discussion on that? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Is there any other committee reports? Any other committee reports? Uh, being none, we'll go on to Master's comments. Uh, let's go to Sam Small, District 1. No, I don't have anything to Jason Bullock, District 2. Joe Barnes, District no. 3. I think you don't. Larry Camp. No. Larry Morphew. No. Justin Camp. Judge, the only thing that I would say is with regard to the resolutions that you passed, just in case anybody had any questions, if for some reason the entity did take any of the funds through through the, the loan, uh, it would have to be disclosed at that time. Right. Just wanted right. to make sure that. I forgot something under, under a committee, too. Uh, the jail uh, board appointments have been made and the new appointed jail board, uh, three from Ohio County, two from Butler, and two from Edmondson will be able to meet really soon, uh, hopefully next week, and, uh, and get their feet on the ground and start moving. So it's taken a long time to get this position, but we do have a regional jail board in place at this time. Yes. Will that be permanent? We have to tell the year no. Well, there's, 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 we made it. There's, they're staggered, but this is just this is just the committee to try to get to the next step. Um, we've got to know the location of where the jail is going to be after these committees meet, uh, and then the board will have a different setup because depending on the location depends on the number of board members. Right. As well, I sort of envisioned. I told our county employee that's one of them. If, if the jail goes to Butler County, he will roll off, and Larry County and Wayne Crow would still serve for our county. So their terms are in. Uh, all right, I've got a coronavirus update. Uh, as you all know, you've heard the uh, counts are going down, and most of us is getting very comfortable with it. The, the rates have gone down a whole lot, on the number of people getting coronavirus. But for some reason, the death rate is way up. We're still having a lot of people die of the coronavirus. So we don't want it. I've attended funerals, uh, and these are not older people. They're people in their uh, 40s and 50s that are now dying of the, of the coronavirus. So uh, that's, that's my report on that. We want to be so optimistic, and I remember, and some people prefer, uh, refer to this as the post-COVID era, and, and we're living like it is as much as we can, but in reality, uh, we're still 
we still got a problem when, as long as we got people dying of COVID, it's a problem. So, uh, if if, if uh, no one else has anything to do the good of this body, I will call this meeting adjourned. And uh, many of you want to say we are fixing to have a, a public hearing.